I made some head pieces and I'm gonna show them to you. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about some head pieces that I made. I have three different head pieces here and they were all made for different uses. The first one I wanna talk about is this one, the fork crown. I created the fork crown to wear on stage with my old band in New York. You know how in thrift stores you can come across these boxes of old utensils and cutlery and things like that? Well, I came upon an old box with a bunch of different forks in it. I'd had the idea of creating a head piece for quite some time, but I hadn't really figured out what I wanted it to be, but when I saw those forks, it sparked an idea for me. So this is a bit of a spin-off on the classic crown of thorns, if you will. There's a heavy band of metal wire and fabric that make up the base. And for the forks themselves, I only wanted to use the tips of the fork. So I glued all these fork tips onto the base or the headband of the crown, just using a, a hot glue gun. And on top of each fork, I put a penny I glued on an old penny with the heads side facing out. And for the forks right on the front of the crown, I also glued on a few of these little charms from an old bracelet I found that had religious iconography on it. So I just cut the bracelet apart and glued it on there. It's another little nod to the crown of thorns. And the last thing I added was this chain that I believe came off of an old pair of glasses that I found somewhere. I think it's the kind of chain that attaches to your glasses so when you take them off, they can hang around your neck. I would wear this crown pretty often on stage with my old band, so it got a lot of use. The next thing I want to show you is this. I call this the figurine crown. I created this piece to wear in the music video for my song, Right Wavelength. That music video was all about rebirth. It was the first music video I put out under my solo moniker, Galadidiet, and it had a theme of resurrection and saying goodbye to the old. The music video consisted of a series of vignettes or scenes that all related to that theme in different ways. I found these figurines in you guessed it, a thrift store. I was looking for something just about this size to create a crown with. There are two sort of Renaissance looking porcelain men, and then there's a Jesus with a baby. Maybe it's God and baby Jesus. And then there's this guy who I think is a saint of some sort. As you may have gathered, I have a bit of a thing for religious art. Now, I wasn't raised religious, and I don't consider myself to belong to any organized religion, but I really love studying religious art from all over the world. There's so much iconography and symbolism, and that really resonates with me. And there's a lot of religious folk art that's so up my alley. So you'll see these themes probably reappearing again and again in my work. The base for this is a classic women's headband or hairband. Then I just covered it with black duct tape, and it's with the duct tape that I attached the figurines to the headband. Ooh. The last piece I wanna show you is this, yellow hair. I made this out of a cheap hat that I found at the thrift store. You can kind of see it peeking through here. It actually had a brim, but I cut the brim off so it became this little tight hat instead. And into the hat, I poked all these different yellow streamers, long ones and then some shorter ones in the front to create bangs. I was kicking around the idea of wearing this on stage with my project Galeria, but Ultimately, I ended up using it in some promo videos for one of my performances. And those are some things I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.